it's I'm never I will never lose to a white boy in my life. I don't care what nobody <laughs> got to say. It's like, can't no white boy beat me on, on any day of the week. Hey, talk that shit, Dan. This is undefeated starlet boxer Devin Haney. Speaking on his views of a potential super fight against Vasily Lomachenko, the top 135 pounder in the world. I'm never I will never lose to a white boy. Many have come out against Haney, a spry 21-year-old fresh in the game, building a huge following on social media. Ryan Garcia, who fought Haney in the amateurs, wrote on Twitter, we should all respect everyone from every race and see who the best man is. I respect Devin Haney. And I believe he didn't mean this with racist intent. But let's all respect each other for the love of the sport. Haney responded to the pushback with a tweet that read, I'm not racist and I never will be a racist. I'm chasing greatness. He idolizes Floyd Mayweather as seen in the picture and as many have and should if it is solely based about his in-ring skills and the payoff. The problem with putting Mayweather in this picture is because of what he said about Manny Pacquiao. Because once I stole the midget, I'm gonna make that mother cook, uh, make me a, a sushi roll and cook me some rice. You know, you better make me a, a shrimp and pork cut roll, a shrimp and pork cut roll, some more. Take me to the, uh, what's the, what's the, uh, the little one we got, the tempiaki roll. You know how it is, baby, gonna cook that mother Dogs. So, with Haney's tweet, you're making a bad point worse, in my opinion. Now, if you think Devin Haney is indeed a racist for saying this, then you have to view Bernard Hopkins, the great Bernard Hopkins, the same way. Hopkins ended up losing to three white men, Joe Calzaghi, Sergey Kovalev, and Joe Smith, the latter effectively ending B-Hop's career by literally knocking him out of the ring. While we're all fascinated, by the way, with Michael Jordan, kudos to ESPN for bumping up the last dance. While we're all fascinated with him, guess what? He said the same damn thing Devin Haney did per NBA Hall of Famer and NBA on TNT analyst Charles Barkley. Michael says, hey man. Y'all being disrespectful. You're pissing me off. And I said, dude, what are you talking about? He says, you got a white guy guarding me. I says, Dan Marley's an all-star. Oh, man. And he says, yeah, but he's a white all-star. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that same energy? Speaking of the Bulls, former Chicago Bulls swingman Jimmy Butler was discussed on J.J. Reddick's podcast. I guarded Jimmy on the block, and he later told me that he was mad because the Sixers had put a white guy on him. Reddick said with a laugh, reported the Miami Herald. Butler teammate Duncan Robinson also was on the podcast, and here's what he said. He lets me know regularly in practice, if we're ever matched up, that I can't guard him. The two are now teammates with the Miami Heat. Where was the public outcry? Did I miss it? We have had former Indiana Pacer Al Harrington on TYT Sports, a fascinating interview that you should all absolutely go check out after this clip. Well, he was on TMZ with former host Van Lathan. When Van asked him this question, here was his response. When you're in the NBA and you look at a white boy guarding you, do you think, oh, this is time to eat? Or is it like, at, in the NBA level, is it all like, it's like everybody here who, who can play? Yeah, but I, I look at them a little... I might have that look in my eye with them. <laughs> See that look I'm giving you? Yeah. Like, that's how I look at you if we play right now. Damn, bro. I'm telling you. Boy, I'm a, hey. I'm just like right to the cup. Like right to the cup. Eh. So when you see a white boy, you're like, ah, this this going to go on the 06, 07 highlight reel. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to do something special. But you know, <laughs> a lot of times. What about Larry Legend? Bird was a harsh, notorious trash talker. Let's revisit what Charles told the Dan Patrick show. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? <laughs> he says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you I, put I, on him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. Later, it was even confirmed by ESPN via Bird himself. The one thing that always bothered me when I played the NBA was I really got irritated when they put a white guy on me. I still don't understand why. A white guy would come out... And I would always ask him, what, do you have a problem with your coach? Did your coach do this to you? And he'd go, no. And I'd say, come on, you got a white guy coming out here to guard me? You got no chance. For some reason, that always bothered me when I was playing against a white guy. As far as playing, I didn't care who guarded me. Red, yellow, black, bird added. I just didn't want a white guy guarding me because it's disrespect to my game. Now, is there a double standard? Let's let punch drunk boxing 
give his perspective, which I agree with. If it was Tyson Fury, if it was Kalen Platt, if it was Billy Joe Saunders, if it was Lumachenko, if it was Usyk, if it was Smith, y'all be and they and they come out and say, it is no way that I could ever lose to a black boy. A black boy. Y'all motherfucker, y'all motherfucker be bitching, calling out racism.